If you're looking for a system to help keep track of everything you need to get down on paper, then bullet journaling might be for you. Honor Campbell from The Paper Place is here to show us how to get the best results out of your bullet journal. Hi, Honor. It's an honor to have you here. <laughs> Thank you. It's an honor to be here. Well, um, for people at home who don't know what bullet journaling is, what is it and how do we get started? Bullet journaling is a method of journaling for the analog age. It is created by an uh, engineer named Ryder, Ryder Carroll. Mm -hmm. He um, basically took the whole idea that we use our phones for everything and took the statistics that writing stuff down makes you remember things. So, That's so true, yeah. Um, with that in mind, he created a book called The Mod Modern Bullet Journaling, um, Modern Method for Bullet Journaling, excuse me. And that book is extremely long and very in depth, as engineers tend to be. <laughs> and so, with that in mind, I just wanted to condense everything down because it can be really easy to be overwhelmed. Okay, great. So you say the first step is to start with one month at a time, like we have here. Yeah. So with one month at a time, I basically, you just want to sit down, designate a time out of your day to sit down and plan out your month. You don't want to do more than one month because you might change on what you need to focus on. And so this like keeps it not so overwhelming mm -hmm. and not so drowning because bullet journaling, there is a lot of information. The whole point is to organize your life. So I'm glad that you said that it can feel overwhelming and your second step is to keep it simple. So how do we keep it simple? Just sit down and plan out what you need to focus on. Okay. Whether it's you're scattered and you need a daily schedule or you need to track your bills or just what is the things that are just making you feel hectic? I have to say, because this looks really fun right here, like even on the next page here, yep. you have a whole section on like bills and spending and it actually looks kind of fun to do, you know, exactly. like you made it really fun with all the colors. So you say also to invest in good supplies. Why do we need to invest in good supplies? This is going to last you for a year. Oh, wow. Okay. You don't want to be spending supplies like on things that are going to be running out of ink and then your color system changes. A lot of things with bullet journaling is keeping things the same, mm -hmm. consistent and good supplies, you know it's going to last you. It's worth it. This notebook is a Lictum notebook. The paper is a higher quality. Yeah, I you can, can feel that. You can use markers on it. It's not going to bleed through. It's not going to feather. You're not going to hate your notebook six months in. You're not going to hate your pens six months in because those pens are made to last throughout the year. And I love these supplies because these are so colorful. It makes me want to do the bullet journaling. Like you have some bright markers here and uh, pens here and erasers and everything is so bright and colorful. So do you recommend having like bright colors in all of your supplies? You don't have to. I mean, it's whatever is your aesthetic. You want to love your journal. So if you like more neutral tones, go for neutrals. But brights tend to make you happy. Yes. Which is why we decided to bring brights in today. It, it makes you want to get organized. It makes you want to focus. And lastly, you say not to compare. What do you mean by that? Who are we trying to com like not compare ourselves against? The bullet journaling is this huge community. You can follow hashtags on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, and it becomes really easy to just get bogged down and see other people's journals and feel like yours isn't worth enough. Right, and that totally defeats the purpose, right? Because a bullet journal is such a personal thing. Why would we be comparing ourselves to somebody else? Exactly, and so this is for you. This is for you to focus. And if you are looking at these other journals and seeing these beautiful sketches that artists do in their journals and you're looking at yours like, why isn't mine like that? Exactly, right. you don't need that. This is to focus your life. It's not anyone else is gonna look at it. It's your thing. Just so I know lastly, uh, the paper place is coming up on your 40th anniversary, right? Yeah. What kind of um, exciting plans do you guys have for the store? So we are actually doing a whole rebranding aspect, feeling like we need to move into the new mm -hmm. millennium pretty much. We've been the same store since, the, since we moved into our current location in 94, and we just feel like we as employees want a breath of fresh air. A lot of us have been there going on 25, wow. 12, 8 years, so it's nice for us to get a change and see the store changing itself. Um, we'll be having a party in the summer, so if you follow us on our social media, we'll be announcing all of that as well. Super exciting. Well, it sounds like a great time, Honor. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. For paper products, custom printing, and creative gifts, go to paperplaceaustin.com or stop by their stationery store located on 4001 North Lamar Boulevard.